Well, the students, as you can imagine, they're excited to get back on campus so they can be with their friends again. But MSU's president says that he believes the university can open in a safe way that will mitigate the risk of COVID-19 spreading on campus. Students say they understand that there is a risk, but they just want to get back to in-person classes. With all the training and with all the input from everybody, I think I'm excited. I think it'll be good. Classes at MSU will begin on September 2nd with both online and in-person instruction. News that the campus will be open in the fall has some students excited to get back. Definitely meeting back up with my friends. It's been hard during isolation. It's just be able to be back on campus. Obviously, it's not going to be the exact same, um, but I think as long as people follow social distancing, it should be fine. In a letter to the Spartan community, President Samuel Stanley said in part, as a university, we already have taken several important steps to enhance overall safety, including increased cleaning standards, establishing a strong supply chain for appropriate amounts of personal protection equipment, and partnering with local health care facilities in preparation for an outbreak. A lot of the like larger lecture halls will be used more frequently and classes, I think with like 50 students or more will be in like lecture rooms that have the capacity to fit 400 people. Students say there is still a possibility someone could get infected with COVID-19, but they feel MSU's president and his team are well prepared to handle whatever happens. Uh, there is some concern. There's always some concern, especially with a disease happening. So it'll be quite the adjustment. Um, it will probably take a lot of reminders for students to get used to it. MSU now joins a growing list of both colleges and universities in the state that say they do plan on having uh, fall, cl fall classes. But for students who don't feel comfortable about returning to school in September, they can still learn remotely. Reporting live tonight, I'm Alan Campbell, 7 Action News.